Hola, hola. I'm Ramon, cosmetic formulator, licensed esthetician, and Korean sunscreen fanatic. And today we are back with part two of my verified certified Korean sunscreens. You guys loved that first video. Thank you. We're back with the part two of Style Korean. Once again, they reached out and they're like, hey, we have a few more that we have some verified results for. We'd love for you to try them out, give your opinion and thoughts on them, share them with your audience. And here we are with that. But disclaimer, as I did in the first video, this is not something I really feel that should be as fixated on as it is. I feel like there is a lot of xenophobia and a lot of irrational fear right now around Korean sunscreen specifically when A, we are aware and have seen this happen in pretty much every other sunscreen market, first of all. Second of all, I feel like there's a lot more scrutiny for Korean sunscreens right now as opposed to like American and European sunscreens when realistically, there's just as likely of holes and gaps in those regulations as there are in Korean sunscreen regulations as well. You guys are not scrutinizing those brands and those companies in the same way, but also sunscreen is just sunscreen. It's only a small portion of the overall SPF wardrobe. You should not be putting all your eggs in the sunscreen basket, as I mentioned in my sunscreen videos all the time. Card fell gonna be up here. But because there are those of you who just really like that confirmation, we're gonna talk about it today. One thing that's really interesting about what Style Korean sent me this time around was they sent me a good amount of tone up sunscreens. And we all know tone up sunscreens are not brown skin friendly. What's really funny is that these brands will say no white cast, but light tone up and it looks the same on my skin. So getting through those sunscreens first. First one I have is actually a huge disappointment from some by me, their True Sika Mineral Calming Tone Up Sun Cream. This is version two of an older one I reviewed. I'll put the card up here. I love that sunscreen and I had high hopes for this. Did leave a white cast. That being that it did test at an SPF of 69.8 with a PA of 26.3, only $11. So if you don't mind a tone up or your very first skin and you like a very lightweight gel mineral sunscreen that leaves you actually fairly matte, definitely worth trying out. Unless you have sensitive skin because there are a lot of essential oils in this. Next was an interesting one from VT. This is a little pack and this is not actually like a cushion sunscreen. This is their VT Essence Sun Packed. This packaging is beautiful. But as you see, the product itself is like this weird balm. And so this has SPF, but what I really see this as is like a weird makeup product that'll help tone up your face, but also give you a very wet, dewy look. For me, that doesn't work. If you're fair and you like that kind of like glass skin, like supple dewy glow, this is a product for you for like applying in those specific areas. But oh over the face. I don't see the point in this. Very interesting, but odd product. Next from Good All, I have their Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Tone Up Cream. This is a tone up cream, but it has like a peachy undertone to it. This is actually a combination sunscreen. So you have zinc oxide with octanoxate, titanium dioxide, but also octosalate and octocrylene. Really good ingredients in this. You do have niacinamide, sodium ascorbyl phosphate. That's the vitamin C. It's a really good derivative. Arbutin and adenosine. This did tone me up. It did give a noticeable white cast. It also did not wear well on the hairline and facial hair and whatnot. So if it wasn't for the white cast, this would be great, but that's just too much for me. And, but I do have another good awesome sunscreen on this list that was a winner. So stay tuned for that one. Next from a brand I haven't heard of yet. This is from The Plant Base and this is their Daily Ben Innocent Sun Cream. This one was cute. No, this was not cute. This was interesting because this is actually a combination sunscreen again, but with very different filters. This features octanoxate, zinc oxide, and it's a and tinosorb M. That's one of those chemical but acts like a mineral sunscreen filter. This also pretty much highlights prickly pear as it's like star ingredients, and you have niacinamide, adenosine, retinol, interesting in a sunscreen, liquor shoot extract, and panthenol. This is interesting because it has like a peachy tone to it, and so I feel like that's their attempt at like a tinted sunscreen, but it still has a tone up effect on me. It is just not workable into brown skin. This was nice on the skin though, like texture wise, but just again, white cast, tone up, not really cute for me. And the last toning up sunscreen, this is from Espoir and this is their Water Splash Sun Cream. This is the pink one, basically. Espoir is a brand I actually discovered in Korea when I went. They have really great makeup products actually. So seeing a sunscreen that Style Korean sent me from them, I was really hyped for and I have another one from them, but this one was the ugly stepsister of the bunch. This is a combination sunscreen again. So you have octanoxite, titanium dioxide, tinosorb S and even A plus. And generally, if I ever see titanium dioxide in a sunscreen, screen like this. I have the inkling it's not going to work. This one didn't work, especially in the facial hair and whatnot. It just really toned me up and was not the best visually on the skin. Texture wise, it's cute. This does have really nice ingredients like zinc gluconate, tocopherol acetate, chamomile, and centella, but just the way it looked on the skin was not, was not the tea. The tone ups and the duds out the way. Let's get into the winners and the ones that I was actually very, very happy, pleasantly surprised, and excited to get. First and foremost, I have two from a brand called Higa. I'm going to assume it's Higa because that's what the Korean translates into. First, I have their Real Sun Cream. 
And this one, beautiful. They're both beautiful, but this one's really, really good sunscreen. 50 mil for $11.99. You have niacinamide, adenosine. It does have alcohol, but it is fragrance and essential oil free. Filter wise, you have Univinyl A+, and Univinyl T150, Tinosorb S, Polysilicone 15, and a capsule. SPF wise, this tested at an SPF of 55.7 with a UVA of 16.2, so SPF 50 plus, PA4 plus. And this just has a beautiful texture on the skin, as you can see with the application footage. It goes on really, really nicely, has a really lightweight, but still kind of moisturizing texture and feel to it, disappears right in, preps the skin beautifully for makeup, no complaints. This is, in my mind, a fairly affordable Korean sunscreen. I definitely would want to repurchase. There was a lot of hype around these Higa sunscreens. I had a lot of comments asking for these, and spoiler alert, they both worked out really, really well. We're getting to the next one. This is the green one. This is their vegan sun cream. Realistically, I don't know what makes one vegan versus the other. No, that's not something I necessarily look for or care about in my skincare, but if that matters to you, this one's vegan. Looking at this one, this one is $15. It has niacinamide, beetroot, and adenosine as primary ingredient factors. Filter-wise, even on A+, even on T150, Tinosorb S, Amaloxate, and Polysilicon 15. This tested at an SPF of 53.1 with a PA of 20.94. So a little bit higher in the PA scale, but still 50 plus, PA 4 plus. And again, I think I prefer this one a little bit more than the regular, the first one I talked about, because to me, this is a little bit more of a gel texture, but both still, again, work beautifully on the skin, perhaps can be beautifully for makeup. I think this one applies nicely over makeup as well. This one is $15 versus $11.99. As always with Style Korean, generally the prices fluctuate, but they're one of the sites with the lowest prices I see most consistently. So I'll have the links for all these in the description box, but Higa, good sunscreens. Next, I have the other option from Goodall. This is their Hytania Cordata Calming Sun Cream. Note, Hytania Cordata is an ingredient I talk about a lot. I love seeing it in Korean beauty and it's just a really good ingredient. This is 50 mil for 19.20. And aside from the Hytania Cordata, you have glycerin. There's no alcohol, fragrance, or essential oils in this. So generally could potentially be very sensitive skin friendly. You have Uvenol A+, Uvenol T150, Tinosorb M, as well as Uvisorb HEB, which is one of those filters I actually have only been starting to see a little bit more frequently. So excited to see those in K-Beauty. This tested at an SPF of 54.1 with a UVA PF of 17.6. So really good SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus protection in this. Really great texture, really good feel on the skin. This is a really nice option if you have normal to oily skin. Even dry skin could benefit for this, but I have more oily acne prone skin, so that's what I speak to. Love the texture, love the skin feel, love the look on the skin, and it's just overall really good experience. This is one of the more pricier ones of the bunch, but this is still below $20. So a really good option. Really happy, especially considering the other good all one was just not she was not the tea. Worth noting specifically with the Tinosorb M, and I'm not entirely sure about the Uvisorb HEB, but Tinosorb M is one of those chemical sunscreen that does function a little bit more like a mineral sunscreen. So you do have the potential of that white cast if you do have deeper skin. Also, it might pose a little bit of an issue if you have facial hair. I didn't have those issues. I don't know if you can see in the footage. So that's not something I'm going to consider for me, but just know if you have deeper skin, something to potentially be weary about, but maybe not. And last sunscreen of the video is the other option from S4 and the winner out of those two. This this is their fresh water sun cream. Note the other one was just water sun cream. This one does have the fresh added to the title. This retails for $16.20 and this is 60 mil, so a little bit more. Ingredient wise, you have niacinamide, adenosine, allantoin. This one does have alcohol fragrance and essential oil. So do know if those are things you're concerned about or if you have more sensitive skin, might not be the option for you. Check out the good old Hotunia Cordata one, but this one was cute. This again, just in my wheelhouse of Korean sunscreens, really, really lightweight gel texture works into the skin beautifully. This has even T150, even on A+, a capsule, polysilicone 15, and Tinosorb S. So you're getting really good filters in that. This is one I don't actually have the testing results of for the sunscreen. I believe the brand wasn't comfortable disclosing those numbers and figures, but is one that Style Korean was able to confirm did test at SPF 50 plus, PA4 plus. So just note you're gonna get good protection from it. But again, if that is an issue for you, the Higa sunscreens and the Goodall sunscreens are definitely ones worth checking out. And this one is a very similar texture to those, good filters. And Style Korean sent it to me because it did meet the advertised production values. So do with that what you will. And with that, that is my part two for certified and verified Korean sunscreens. Again, for me, the Higa ones were the winners. These are great sunscreens, but the good old Hotonia Cordata and the fresh water sun cream from Espoir were definitely very close second and thirds. And the ones that I would consider to consistently use throughout the summer and into the winter months. The other ones, they just, they told me up. They didn't work for my skin. If you got deep dark skin, but not the sunscreens for you and I am not the person for tone up sunscreen. So that's my only qualm with those. If that's what you're into, 
maybe consider them. Let me know down in the comment section, what other Korean sunscreens are you interested in seeing are certified and verified? Or do you wanna see me test on the channel? I love hearing what you guys are interested in seeing. Sign off in the comment section. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks nice for watching, guys. Bye.